something that that uh, should all be aware of is that um, a, a executable, a script, or whatever could take command line arguments. Let's give that a try. Arg1. Couldn't open arg1. Huh. Well, that's weird. Let's try doing multiple. Arg2. Ah, usage statement. Input file. So what that input file is, is a text file that contains your answers, uh, one per line. So what we can do is go start, run, a notepad, or actually it's going to be easier if we do it from here, notepad space answers.txt. Everybody can see that. And enter. It's going to say, can't find answers.txt. Do you want to create? Yes. And here we'll put uh, public speaking is easy, period. Enter. Make sure you have that enter. It's very is very easy. <laughs> Make sure you have that that enter. It uh, it looks for that. And you can say file save. You can kind of you can minimize it. Um, and then you can go over here and you can say bomb answers. There you go. Phase one diffuse. And you can go on to the next one, which is password. Don't. No, it wasn't. Um, so, so that way you don't have to type in your answers every time. Um, it'll it'll make it a little easier for the uh, for the later ones as you get more and more answers in there. You can just add them and make sure to remember to to put that additional enter on the end so that there's a, a new line at the end of your last answer. Question: um, Every time I try to go, I go into the debugger and when I return to my code, my shiny graph turns into dumpy looking text. How do I fix that? It's a dumpy looking text. Right, there's no graph. Oh, uh, give me a sec. Space. Space. How about that? Yep. Thank you. Yep. Um, the, just in case anybody else runs into this, somebody accidentally hits space, if you, let me minimize this, if you're in your nice, pretty, you know, graph here and you're looking around, and you're here and you accidentally go, oh, let me go somewhere and you hit space. Oh no, I don't have my graph anymore. It just shows me addresses. How boring. Um, no, th this, can, this can, can be a useful view. Um, however, to get back to the graph view, or rather to switch between, um, you just hit the space bar. And that'll bring you between the graph view and the um, just instructions one after the other view. Okay, so let me, I might, a little too early for lunch, let me, let me get us started on what you're going to have to know for the second lab. Um, so everything that, that we pretty much went over is here in the bomb lab phase one. Um, this is your walkthrough here. Uh, feel free to, to make reference to that for phase two, three, four, five, six. Um, the, what is in each of these um, parts of the wiki that you can click on here is the what you need to know before jumping into it. It's not going to provide the answers there by just clicking on one of these. The answers are, they're in the wiki, but they're, they're hidden. Um, so, so if you need to, after I go over stuff, if you need to go back and, and make reference to it, you know, feel free to kind of click around. You're not going to, um, at least in these parts, accidentally come across the uh, answers in that. Um, so let's take a look at bomb lab phase two. Well, first of all, 
we have string compare. Yay. But what's this other function here? We're in we're in the where we're doing the string compare for the first phase. And we have this other function down here. Well, if we take a look at that, boom, it's the boom function. This is where the bomb is blown up. So if we had started with this before, we would have gone, okay, boom, blown up. Where is it being called? Let me highlight that. Well, first, I know what this is. It's the boom. Let me see where that's being called. X for the cross-references. It's being called all over the place. So, yeah, we could have gone through each and every one of these to try to find phase one, um, but it, it's, that's complicated. So instead, we started with the, okay, what's the, what, what are we being prompted with, and then going from there. So we go back, escape out of this, we escape out of this. We now know this is phase, if I can write phase one. And you can go from there. Phase one diffused, how about the next one? Input validator function. 